And so one thing we're trying to do right now is really look at what happens in the brain when people recall morally injurious events and really study, you know, how what happens in the brain can inform how we treat individuals who are suffering from moral injury. Moral injury has been a real topic of interest among our healthcare workers. We know that individuals who suffer from moral injury and often they also suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder concurrently really uh, have intense emotional distress. That's often very visceral. So they have the cognitive component, the thinking component, you know, I did something bad or I didn't provide the best care, but that's coupled with intense visceral distress. And so how is that manifested in the brain? And our early studies are really showing that areas of the brain, for example, the posterior insula and the periaqueductal gray who process visceral sensations are very much involved in processing morally injurious uh, event recall. And so how can that guide us into treating these individuals who are really suffering and not just the cognitive component or the thinking component but how can we also target that visceral distress you know it's eating me alive inside or that gnawing sensation in your stomach and i think once we really help resolve those that visceral distress that will also help the thinking settle down you know this i'm bad or nobody supports me, nobody cares about me. Once that visceral distress settles, those kind of negative thinking patterns will also settle. I think also then following your brain along and seeing the brain changes that occur as a result of treatment and getting better provides hope and it provides a future for coming out of this pandemic and healing from this pandemic.